uh, only in South Dakota. The most popular kid on TikTok right now, and of course, TikTok videos are cute. They are also a Trojan horse for Chinese intelligence. Chinese intelligence controls the company that owns TikTok, and they use it to spy on every American who downloads the app. South Dakota Rep Dusty Johnson is sponsoring a bill to ban TikTok from accessing U.S. citizens' user data from within China and block the installation of TikTok on government devices. He joins us uh, now. Why hasn't this happened yet, Congressman? Oh, I am befuddled by it. You know, the reality is that for years we've had people, including President Trump, tell us that TikTok was a real problem, that, that the Chinese Communist Party was using that to gather, uh, to gather facial identifying information, information on our voice, information on our movements, information on our keystrokes. We've had key parts of the U.S. military, Leland, tell their soldiers they're not allowed to have that app on their phones. My bill would block the talk. Uh, any federally issued device would not be allowed to have that app on it. We need to get it done. Okay, so you, you ban it from any federally issued device. One, one could argue what, what moron of a federal employee of any type would put it on a federal device for the reasons we've just talked about. But hey, uh, people, people do stupid things. We know that. But, but more importantly, I, I'm thinking about all the data it's gathering on the United on U.S. citizens, uh, technical and behavioral information about the app, your phone book information, your age, your name, your password, language, obviously can access your camera, your microphone, the list goes on and on. Um, how do you ban TikTok from, from sharing that data when they already do it despite Apple and Google allegedly banning it and Chinese intelligence getting around that? Yeah, I do think uh, every American needs to really ask themselves whether this app of uh, teenagers doing cute and funny dances is worth the massive security breach they're opening themselves up to. Now, listen, my bill would not tell all Americans it's illegal for them to have TikTok, all right? This is a country that likes freedom. Frankly, I'm hopeful my bill would advance the conversation uh, by telling everybody, listen, the federal government says this is dangerous to have on your phone. Mm -hmm. But Leland, there are uh, reasonable and legitimate voices out there, like Federal Communications Commissioner Brendan Carr, yep. who are saying essentially what you're saying. No, 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 he, he's- That shouldn't even be for sale in the iTunes store. Yeah, no, he, he, he's been on the program talking about that and saying that it, it so clearly violates uh, the rules of the App Store uh, and the, the privacy protections that Apple and Google say every app should have. There's back doors in this app. They know about it. If you know about it, Brennan Carr knows about it, even President Trump warned about it. What is the reluctance of actually ringing the alarm bells louder? I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's protecting TikTok here. Because this app is cute and fun and millions and millions of Americans love it. And politicians well, yeah, but that, don't that should, like hold, hold on. Millions of Americans love it. That's fine. But that shouldn't stop. Millions of Americans love cigarettes and jewel and lots of other things. That, that doesn't stop real meaningful regulation and, and real meaningful warnings. Oh, I totally get it. And I, that's why I'm bringing the bill, because this is a serious issue in search of serious leaders, and I'm one of those guys. But here's the difference, Leland. It was politically popular uh, to kick the cigarette companies. When you have, uh, when TikTok is, is as popular with young Americans as it is, it's going to be unpopular for politicians like me, for leaders like Brendan Carr to say what we're saying. That doesn't mean we're going to shut up. It does mean it's going to be a little harder for us to build the coalition we need to build to get it done. Fair, fair enough. Uh, Congressman, we'll be interested to see how this bill goes, especially whether you get any pushback uh, on it. It'll be amazing to see who in Congress uh, wants to protect TikTok. Uh, come back and talk to us about it when it happens, all right? Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, sir. We appreciate the time. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.